Uh, hi, uh, I'm Dharnish Reddy, uh, founder of the company Bottleverse. Uh, we are a metaverse solution for the liquor industry um, um, for the US market as well as the Indian market. We would want to create a 3D virtual space uh, uh, for the liquor industry. I started this journey with T-Hub um, exactly five months ago with Lab32 Cohort 9 program where we first uh, incubated ourselves through an interview and we were talking about our vision to make a metaverse solution uh, for the liquor industry. Uh, moving on, uh, we actually had the privilege to meet our mentors and uh, to shape our project into a complete revolutionary uh, business where, where we can, uh, where we can go around and provide 360 degree solution for the liquor industry as well as uh, create a liquor ecosystem on the Web3 and blockchain industry as well. I was seeing a revolution and a revolution going towards this thing called uh, Web3, blockchain and the metaverse space, the virtual space including the AR and VR technology and uh, I really wanted to put my uh, business or anything related to liquor on that platform and see if this actually works. So it was a small concept where I thought what if there's, an, there's a solution where uh, a person sitting in New York can easily put his oculus or any type of uh, um, uh, VR set and go into a virtual world and buy their liquor from there and we deliver it uh, to their doorstep. Um, sure, if we look at Decentraland and uh, other um, metaverse spaces, they are completely uh, disorganized and they are not to the point. They are not giving a proper customer solution or a physical use case. We on the other hand would want people to experience a new level of shopping and we would want them to do it with our platform. And that's where we are different. Well, uh, one exciting part about our startup was when we joined uh, Lab32 TIHA program, uh, we just had a vision to create a metaverse space. But after meeting a couple of other people, we actually had an idea to create a liquor uh, uh, decentralized uh, autonomous organization called the DAO, where we want everybody, all the liquor lovers and everybody to come on one platform and experience liquor in a different way. And we are also looking into uh, uh, making our own token including tokenomics into our project where we are using that, that as a reward system to, um, to help our customers or our clients to purchase more and uh, be on the track of the ecosystem. Honestly, um, we would want to see more out of uh, every other startup um, to be a part of a metaverse industry. Now, we, as we can see that there's, there was always Web 1 and there was always Web 2 and there was al always Web 3. There, there will be Web 3 in the future. Um, I think I personally feel that Web3 is the 3D version of the internet. That includes the metaverse as well. So I believe that if I go online right now in the coming, uh, in the next four or five years, and uh, if I want to go to Amazon.com and if I have to buy a pair of shoes or, um, or, or a t-shirt or shirt, my virtual avatar would be right there. I can just swipe or it's something of, a, it's something related to technology that people would adapt easily. and. The, it, it just expands the way people ex explore through their products and to their services. And uh, I don't see a need of uh, having physical stores around. Maybe a physical touch would be uh, missing out. But companies, big companies and whales would anyways invest uh, to create that personal touch. And, that, and I think that in the future, um, personalized technology will uh, play a huge role when it comes to the metaverse and the blockchain industry. Um, so basically, before starting this project, we also created another project called Sip in Bourbon. Uh, it's a virtual, uh, to, ke to keep it short, it's a social media platform for all the bourbon lovers. It's something that we've been trying uh, for the past uh, one year. I think you need to go for an accelerator program. Uh, it's not just about people have a different mindset about how uh, an accelerator program can help you get funding. I would only suggest that not uh, not only uh, this is about a funding issue, but the mindset of a startup changes as soon as you enter into an accelerator program. Because funding comes later. When your product is right, when your business is right, it's just a matter of going and talking to a person. Later comes the funding. So first, accelerator programs, they make sure that your foundation is strong so that they, uh, so that you don't have to face any future consequences without their guidance. Thank you.